I'm Action Jacqueline, and this is your full body Pilates shred class. We're gonna be using socks, so grab anything that you have slippery, like a dish towel or anything, so that we can slip and slide around and get to our core, arms, and legs. It's one of my most favorite ways to work out, and it's going to transform your body. So hit that like button, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and let's get started in the workout. All right, let's start on the mat. I have my socks on already, so get yours, or you can do slippery surface like paper plates or sliders. I've even used dish towels, that works great too. So let's come down to our mat. We're just gonna start on our backs and let's warm up our body by just doing some simple cr crunches here. Hands behind the head, elbows wide. Exhale and then inhale down. Exhale, inhale down. Exhale, good. Now just take this time right now to get into your body to release everything else that's going on in your life right now. Just remove it off of your mat and just focus inward towards your body, you and yourself. And then look down at your belly button. I want you to make sure that you're pressing the belly button down every time you come up for that little crunch up at the top. Good, now just come up onto the balls of the toes just to keep the weight off of the feet a little bit. And we're gonna keep going with these crunches. Exhale and inhale. Keep going just like this. Nice, now we're gonna add one knee up towards the chest and tap it down, stay up on the ball of your feet and lower. Stay with the breath, exhale and inhale. Exhale and inhale and keep pressing the lower belly button down. So this is a great way to warm up the body and create mind-body connection to these lower abs. Sometimes they do get a little sleepy, so this is time to wake them up, activate them, bring some life into them. Good, and exhale. And it helps too when you can have visually your eyes on them, so that's why I have you on your back here first so you can literally look at your belly button and your stomach and look at your own form, see what's happening there. Exhale and inhale. Good, now we're gonna bring both of the knees up towards the chest like this, but stay in a 90 degrees. And now we're just gonna tap and back to 90, tap and 90. Make sure that you're not lifting up in the lower back, but just keep the lower back on the floor and keep the lower belly pressing down. Elbows are nice and wide. Trying to lift the shoulders up off of the floor. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale. Soften the shoulders, take the tension out of the traps and put it into the lower belly. Good, eight more, eight, seven. Then we're gonna flip around and start into our plank work. Six, good, five. And great job. All right, come on up. And now we're going to fold up our mat so we can have a little bit more space. You may not need to, but this also provides a little bit more padding on your hands. So we're gonna place the hands now onto the mat because now we're going to use our feet to slide around. This is where it starts to get really fun, or at least my weird definition of fun. We're gonna pull the knees in and then we're gonna pull it out, good. So let's just actually first start in a high plank pose. Let's do that next. I want you to just get used to being on your hands and toes like this on the socks. Pull up through the lower belly, press the floor away. Now I want you to think of your shoulders. Instead of sinking down like a saggy hammock, I want you to push the floor away. See if you can actually expand wider through the shoulder blades. So the space between the shoulder blades actually get wider as you push the floor away more. Also known as protracting in the shoulder blades, good. Now hold here, keep continuing to push the floor away as you think about the ribs. Think about the lower belly knitting up towards the ribs, hip bones coming up towards the ribs. Good, squeeze the inner thighs together, lift up the kneecaps by engaging the quads, bring the heels together, nice. Yes, all of that is happening all at once. But every time you come back here to this video, you're gonna get stronger and it's gonna get easier. Now we'll add the knees in. Well, let's take a little breather, okay. So we'll bring the knees in and then bring it out just like that, 10 times, all right? 10 and out. 
nine. So practicing all of these principles that I've been going over, and it does take time. So don't feel like you gotta get it all at once. Maybe today you're just gonna work on protracting in the shoulder blades. And then when you come back to this video, you're really focused on bringing the, the ribs down and the hips up towards the ribs. So just break it apart, do it one step at a time. Good, we're gonna do five more. And five, nice. Four, whew, three, two, and one. Great job. All right, this is called Pilates Shred for a reason, right? Okay, let's bring the elbows down. I love working this way because it truly, truly changed my body. It really did. Okay, now we're gonna do little lifts up with the hips, little lowers down with the hips. Good. So same thing, all the same principles apply. Just make sure that your forearms are parallel to one another, okay? Press through the knuckles. Let's do this 10 times. 10 and lower. Nine and lower. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, and two, and one. All right, take a little breather. You're feeling probably your whole body activating. That's good, okay? That's what we want. Okay, now we're gonna come up onto the hands. We're gonna go nice and gentle here as we sweep it around to the side and back up again. Sweep and up. So you're just sweeping your own floors, using your feet to just clean it up. All right, here we go. We're gonna go for a 10 and nine, eight. Stay really solid on the supporting side. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, take a little breather. Bring those knees down. You're doing awesome. It is a lot of hard work, but you can do it. I know you can do hard things, is what we like to say. Okay, now we're gonna do a little tiny micro lifts. Baby tiny micro lifts. This is a really good one to activate the lower core. I want you to imagine your hip bones and your ribs coming together on every single one. Okay, this is what's gonna activate and get you the strongest core ever, okay? So, here we go. For 10, nine, eight, press through the hands, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good, take a little breather. Whew. Okay, we're gonna do that same exercise one more time. Pull that lower core in, let's go. And for 10, nine, eight, seven, keep pushing the floor away, six, five, four, three, two, and one, all right. Whew, take a breath. Now we're gonna change gears a little bit. We're gonna stand up and go into some leg work, okay? So you don't need your mat or anything at all. I'm gonna show you your first move. You're gonna lower down into a nice lunge, okay? So all the way down and slide it back up. So you can use a ledge if you need to, but I'm just simply sliding back. Make sure that the knee doesn't fall over here, okay? Knee stays tracked over the toes. We're gonna do this for 45 seconds. So these leg exercises are gonna be timed. So take them at your own pace. All right, let's go. So we're lowering down and up. So it might start to get a little sticky. I think cause I'm like starting to sweat, but just keep it going. So really focus on your form here, okay? The tailbone even slightly lifts up just a little bit. All right, to really activate those hamstrings and glutes. Pull the core in. Feel this long line happening through your toes to the top of your head. Good, lowering all the way down. And lift. Good. Whew. Keep that breath going. 
Nice, now we're gonna hold here in our deep lunge and we're gonna pull everything in. I want you to draw the elbows back and then reach the arms up overhead. You're gonna swing that leg front and swing it back. Try to stay as low as you can in that lunge, okay? Here we go, so swing it back and up, back and up. See how I'm staying in this like little chair position. Don't come out of it if you stand up. That's not the move, okay? You wanna stay down, get the most out of this exercise. Reach and in, reach and in. See if you can sink down a little bit lower. Make sure you're not collapsing in your arches. Lift up your arch on your supporting foot. Whew. Keep your spine straight and long. Keep it going, you've got this. A little bit lower. Get one more in. And oh, nice job. All right, now we're gonna squat it down and then you're gonna squeeze all the way in. Squat it down and then squeeze it in, okay? So we're staying on the same side. So still really working that left leg. Squat it down and squeeze it in. Squat it down. You could always add a little bit of weights here if you wanna add that little punch. You can even add a booty band. I always do that with bodyweight workouts to see if there's like little places that I can intensify it for myself if you're feeling up to that. Good, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good. Whew. Nice work. Hold onto that core. We did all that amazing core work. Don't let it go now. Keep it there. That's why I like to start with core because then it's working throughout the whole class. Squeeze the inner thighs. All right, we're gonna go to the other side now. So we're gonna do the same thing. Nice big lunge here and then stand it all the way up, okay? So no sinking in the belly, making sure that you're really holding on to that core like I just talked about. And let's go. Reach and up. So you want this resistance. As you come up, I want you to press the toe into the ground, press the heel into the ground, press them down, 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 down as you squeeze everything together, okay? It's easy to make it easy, right? You can kind of just float. Well, maybe not that easy, it's still a little hard, but you can definitely intensify it and make it more effective for yourself by pressing through the toes, pressing through the heels right here, squeezing your thighs together, feel them work as you come up. Good. All right, take a little breather, and then we're gonna go back into the lunges. Remember, we've got our pull throughs, okay? Get as low as you can into that move. I know you can do it. Hopefully you're getting a little breathless like I am. All good signs. Let's go. So get deep into your lunge first and then pull it in, stay low. Core is tight right here. Reach good, keep going. You can even add weights right here. You could hold on to them. This would be a great place to add them. Add a little bit of that resistance for yourself. That challenge, maybe it's a, you've come back to this video a few times. Add those weights right here. Oh, and rest, okay. Let's do the squat, do the squeeze, get those inner thighs working. All right. Whew. How you doing? You doing okay? Let's go. Nice big squat and squeeze. And this is another place you gotta really use your own resistance. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Everything in, good. Down and squeeze. Nice job.
right, come on up, grab your mat, and we're gonna come onto our side, so you can keep it folded up if it is folded, that's okay. And then we're going to lay on our side and have the, the knees in front of you like this to start. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna reach the leg forward, lift, lower, swing it side, lift, lower, okay? This is gonna be another timed one. So we'll go ahead and start that. Again, 45 seconds on, and then 15 seconds break. Lift, lower, use that core the whole time. All right, and let's start. So notice my foot is flexed, and my toes are slightly turned down. Okay, that's so that we can really get into that glute. Good, lift, lower, side. Lift, lower. Whew. Definitely feel that booty working here. We worked a lot on the quads, the inner thighs, the hamstrings. Now we're getting into those glutes. This is a full body shred. I think that's always my number one requested video. Full body bar or Pilates. And for this amount of time, Okay, great, now we're gonna take it to the side. We're just gonna lift and lower. Very simple, lift and lower. Now you're gonna really get into those glutes right here. Okay, and we're gonna start in two, one. Hold onto that core, make sure that this isn't just hanging out here, but keep this nice, long, beautiful line. Think about it from the crown of your head all the way to your heels. Break. Good, now we're gonna just stay right here and we're gonna do circles, okay? So I'll tell you when to switch. Whew. This is one of my favorites. It's so simple, yet classic. <laughs> Always gets right in there when you need it. Okay, so we're gonna do nice little circles. Whew. This is where it is. Last exercise though here on this side. So stick with it. It's just temporary, this burn here. Just remember that. And the burn is good. Make that positive association with the burn. Okay. All right, now let's switch sides, or switch, sorry, switch um, direction. Hold on to the core. Switch sides. So come on over. We're gonna start with the swinging leg. Remember, it starts in this 45 degree or 90 degree angle here. Lay all the way down. And then we're gonna start by reaching the leg forward. Lift, lower, swing side, lift and lower. Great job. So you probably feel that opposite leg here working. That's okay but put the focus here on this glute here with your mind. You can even touch it here. That helps that mind-body connection because this is the muscle here that we want to be working. Good. Keep it going, lifting and lowering. Keep that core nice and tight the whole time. Almost there, you're doing awesome. All right, and rest. So now we're gonna just go to the side. Whew. We're gonna go to the side and just lift and lower, lift and lower. How you doing? After this, we're gonna go back into some obliques and then finish up with some arms, okay? Arms are always my favorite to work because it just feels so good to be able to do a push-up, <laughs> right? And to pick things up like yourself up off the floor. Okay, lift and lower.
All right, now we're gonna do circles. I'll tell you when to switch direction. Just keep it a little bit higher than a hip height. Remember to continue using this muscle back here, okay? So we do need to sometimes tell ourselves to use it because sometimes we might be compensating with another muscle. So just nice circles here. Nice and slow, doesn't have to be fast at all. Switch directions. All right, take a little breather right here as I show you our next move. So like I said, we're gonna go into some obliques here. So you're gonna place the hands on the ground and you're gonna actually turn your heels and so that your feet are flat on the ground like this. So now we're gonna be in our teaser position and we're just gonna do little lifts and lower, lifts and lower. So notice how my hip is turned down so that we can get into the obliques and the lats. The biggest mistake I usually see here to watch out for is a lot of sinking in the arm and the shoulder and the wrist, okay? So like we talked about earlier, you've got to push yourself away. Okay, if you just work on that today, that will get you really far. That'll completely change the way your arms and everything look and feel. Um, so let's go ahead and do 10 here like this, all right? Start strong, push the floor away, abs in, and let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, take a breather. Yes, we're gonna do the other side. Okay, remember to push the floor away. You gotta really push, 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 push. That's what I'm thinking about the whole time when I'm doing these. All right, let's do 10, let's go. And 10, make sure you switch sides. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good job. All right, now we're gonna take our knees and we're gonna twist them in towards the opposite um, elbow and push it back, okay? We'll alternate 10 times, right and left. All right, same thing, you gotta really push the floor away. Biceps are forward, triceps are back. You literally are rotating by pushing the hand into the ground and screwing it in, okay? I talk about this a lot because it's so important. Okay, here we go. 10, whew, nine, alternating sides. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, this is you against you. Two, one, and take a breather. Whew. Okay, I think we should do that one more time just because it was so fun, <laughs> right? Okay, you're like, you have a very weird definition of fun. I know, but you're gonna feel so good when you're done. So let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, do what you can, five, We're gonna move into arms now. Let's just take a little active breather here. And we're just gonna press the arms back and lift the palms up. So I'm pressing back and lifting up. So this is really good for posture. And then if it's too much on the toes, you can come and just find a good position. You can even stand up if you don't like to kneel. Good. Press and back. Press and back. Nice. So I'm just switching the way my palms are, but I'm also keeping my core tight. Okay, so I'm not going like this, right? So my ribs are staying nice and tight. 
I feel like a good little stretch as well through the biceps, the chest muscles. Nice little active recovery right here. Think about getting the activation in the mid back, not the traps. Good, for five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, take a little breather. I'll show you your next move. You're gonna do something called spoon, which is really fun. Hands are gonna come onto the floor facing towards your hips, and then you're going to lift your hips all the way up into a reverse plank. Now we're gonna just slide the hips back behind us, and then you're going to slide all the way front. Now if you're like, no way, Jose, you can just hold this plank here, or you can just bend the knees and practice swinging with the knees bent, okay? So let's go ahead and start this. We're gonna do 45 seconds, lift up, and then swing it back. So make it work for you. Remember, you can bend the knees, or you can just hold this reverse plank, which is hard within itself. But here you've gotta really push the floor away. So if that's something that you're working on in this class, then this is gonna be a perfect move for you to try to clear the floor. Don't let the butt touch the ground. That's the hardest part. Good, lift and swing. Whew. Use those triceps, use the biceps. Press all fingers into the floor. All right, that's a good one. I encourage you to come back and try that again, okay. We're gonna move on though. We're gonna go into a nice little push-up here. We're gonna do a diamond push-up. So make a diamond with your first finger and thumb, lower down. And then we're gonna step it out here for a nice push-up, back to center, other side and center, okay? We're gonna do that also for 45 seconds. And let's set ourselves up. Make sure you're in a plank here with the hips down. Elbows are gonna go wide right here. Let's go, lower and lift, lower, and lift, good. If the diamond doesn't feel good for you here in the center, that's okay, you can spread the hands apart a little bit. Down and up. Feel your body getting stronger, use your breath. Inhale, exhale to push yourself up. Usually you exhale on the most exertion, a little trick of knowing where to put your breath. All right, take a breather. Okay, so now we're going to go on our stomachs. We're gonna reach the arms forward, come on up, swing it back and up. So little crunches forward and back, all right? Here we go, let's reach forward and lift, swing back, and lift. So after doing those push-ups, these arm lifts are gonna feel that much harder. But this is so good. I get so many requests for posture. This is an amazing, amazing move for your posture. So keep it going. Here. We're gonna do tricep dips. Whoo, those arms are burning. I can feel it. So we're gonna do tricep dips. Feet are just right in front of you. Lift the hips up and let's go. Now here, I want you to really focus on pressing through your first finger and thumb. Most people are kind of buckled up. See what happens when you actually push through your hands. You're gonna notice your forearms work way more and your shoulders get into the correct position. So try that out for yourself see how you do. And this is our final move. I know it's burning, but you'll be done before you know it. Keep it up. Oh, 
You are done. Wow, make sure you cool down. You did amazing today.